we are asked to solve the following quadratic equation x squared plus 10x minus 24 equals 0. So what we want to do is find the factors of negative 24, that is the numbers that multiply to give us negative 24, with a difference of positive 10. Well, you've probably already figured it out by now, but let's go ahead and make a chart, a table, so that we can list all the factors, and we're just going to worry about 24, not negative 24, for a second. So I know 1 times 24. I know 2 times 12. I know 3 times 8, and finally 4 times 6. All of these have a product of 24, but we are looking for the ones that have a product of negative 24 that have a difference of positive 10. So this positive 10 is important right here, so I'm going to circle it. Okay, so let's see. This right here has a difference of 23, difference of 10, difference of 5, difference of 2. So this right here is what I want. All right, I'm going to circle this right here for a second. Now, 2 and 12, how do I get a difference of positive 10, though? Well, if I had positive 2 and negative 12, that would give me a difference of negative 10. So let's flop the signs, or flip the signs, and say negative 12 and, I'm sorry, negative 2 and positive 12. That right there will give me my difference of positive 10. So what I can do, since the coefficient of this x squared term is 1, is simply write it out as x minus 2 and x plus 12. And we're going to set it equal to 0 because these are the factors. These right here are the factors of this up here. And that was equal to 0. Therefore, this must be equal to 0. Now, the question says to apply the zero factor property. What is the zero factor property? Well, what the zero factor property says is that if you have two numbers, let's call them a and b, and if a times b equals zero, then one of either a or b had to be equal to zero. So that's exactly what we're going to do, is we're going to take each of the factors separately and set them equal to zero, and then we're going to solve for x. So let's take this one, x minus 2 equals 0, and then we're going to take this one, x plus 12 equals 0. So if x minus 2 equals 0 in this more elementary equation, then all I have to say is x equals 2. And if x plus 12 equals 0, then I can solve this elementary equation and say that x equals negative 12. So here are my two answers. So coincidentally, what happens if you wanted to check your work, you could plug in 2 into the quadratic here, and you're going to get 0. Or you could plug in negative 12 in here, and you're going to get again 0. So we have solved this quadratic equation using the zero factor property.